Picture yourself looking in a mirror. You lift your right hand. Your reflection lifts the left. It's one of the oldest visual tricks in the book. Everything is reversed, yet familiar. But what if, one day, you held something in your hand, and its reflection in the mirror didn't quite match? Not just flipped, wrong. That odd mismatch is at the heart of a curious feature of nature called chirality or handedness. It means something can't be superimposed on its mirror image. Our left and right hands are the classic example. They're mirror images, but you can't perfectly overlap one with the other. They are fundamentally different, despite appearing the same. Now, apply that idea to the strange, invisible world of quantum materials. Imagine a material that scientists thought was mirror perfect, a crystal with no preferred hand, no bias. Now imagine discovering, years later, that the material had been hiding a hand all along. That's exactly what happened in a quiet, humming lab at Princeton University. And what they found might just change the way we think about symmetry in the quantum world. The star of this story is a mysterious material with the somewhat cryptic name KV3SB5. It might not roll off the tongue, but it's a darling in the physics world. Why? Because it's built on something called a Kagome lattice. The Kagome pattern is elegant and precise, a mesh of interlocking triangles, named after a traditional Japanese basket weaving design. It's not just beautiful, it also creates a playground for electrons to do strange, wonderful things. Physicists love it because it can host exotic quantum states that defy classical explanation. But here's the key. The Kagome lattice is supposed to be symmetrical. No left, no right, no hidden hand. It was thought to be fundamentally achiral. At least, until a few sharp-eyed researchers decided to look a little closer. In 2021, Professor Zahid Hassan, a well-known physicist at Princeton, and his team were exploring the electronic behavior of KV3SB5. They weren't hunting for chirality. Instead, they were intrigued by a strange rhythm that appeared in the material's electronic density, a phenomenon called a charge density wave. Think of it like a hidden beat pulsing through the crystal. Electrons weren't scattered randomly. They were organizing themselves, forming patterns. That in itself was interesting, an emergent property, like frost forming intricate designs on a window pane. But this pattern raised a question that made their ears perk up. Could this regular beat, this charge order, somehow twist the symmetry? Could it introduce a hidden hand? The possibility was mind-bending. It meant that an achiral material could, under certain conditions, spontaneously become chiral. That's like water deciding to spin clockwise every time it freezes. It goes against everything you'd expect. To find out what was really going on, Hassan's team needed to zoom in. Not with a magnifying glass or even a traditional microscope. This called for something different. A custom-built scanning photocurrent microscope, SBCM. It wasn't just about looking. It was about detecting light-generated currents at an ultra-small scale under extreme conditions. They also used their trusty scanning tunneling microscope, STM, to map the surface of the material at the atomic level. The SBCM, however, brought something new to the table. It could measure the optical response of the material, not just its physical form. Together, these tools acted like a quantum telescope. Not one that looked out into the universe, but one that peered inward, into the silent dance of electrons. With their quantum toolkit ready, the team prepared their crystal. First step, cool it. Really cool it. They chilled the sample to a temperature of 4 Kelvin. That's minus 452 degrees Fahrenheit, close to the coldest temperature possible in the universe. Why so cold? Because that's when KV3SB5 enters its most mysterious phase. Now, it was time to shine the light, literally. They bathed the crystal in circularly polarized light. That means light that spins in a corkscrew pattern, either right-handed or left-handed. In a symmetrical material, both kinds of light should produce the same response. But as they began to measure the photocurrent generated by the light, something unexpected happened. The current generated by the right-handed light wasn't the same as the current from the left-handed light. It was a clean, unmistakable difference. That difference has a name, the circular photogalvanic effect. It's a telltale signature of chirality. A mirror-breaking, symmetry-smashing, 
hinted state had emerged from a supposedly neutral material. This is like pointing the James Webb telescope at the quantum world and discovering a new planet, Hassan said. Their measurements confirmed it. Mirror symmetry was broken. Inversion symmetry was gone. Somehow, this achiral crystal had found a way to pick a hand, left or right, and it did it all on its own. If you're wondering why any of this matters, you're not alone. But symmetry breaking isn't just a quirk of physics. It's the engine that powers change. It's how a puddle of water turns into a snowflake. It's how particles in the early universe settled into the forms that became atoms, stars, and you. In physics, symmetrical theories are the foundation. They describe how particles behave and interact. But the real magic happens when those perfect symmetries break. That's when new rules emerge. New phases appear. New technologies become possible. This discovery proves that chirality can spontaneously emerge in a topological quantum material. That sentence might sound dense, but its meaning is profound. It shows that even in a crystal as ordered and symmetrical as KV3SB5, the universe finds ways to surprise us. The implications go beyond curiosity. Materials that respond differently to left and right-handed light could become the foundation for new optoelectronic technologies. Imagine solar panels that harness polarized light more efficiently. Quantum computers that use chirality as a new form of information storage. Devices that read and write information in entirely new ways. It's surprising that such a chiral state can generate such a pronounced response, Hassan said. This work shows we can use subtle electromagnetic measurements to detect hidden properties in quantum materials. Even more exciting, they don't yet know why it happens. The theory still isn't complete, which means there's a whole new field of research waiting to be explored. So where does that leave us? In the world of quantum physics, every answer raises a dozen new questions. But that's the thrill. We're no longer just observing the universe. We're conversing with it. We've learned that even the most symmetrical systems can hide secrets. That handedness, this seemingly simple idea from biology and chemistry, also lives in the heart of quantum matter. And that by peering deeper, shining new kinds of light, and asking the right questions, we can uncover entirely new phases of reality. As Hassan puts it, this is just the beginning. Who knows what hidden worlds we'll uncover next?